And so far we've looked at my prison life and how I've been set free from that and how God has dealt with judgment and sorted me out and got me to a place where I'm loving life, I'm enjoying living day to day with Jesus and that's absolutely wonderful and God has dealt with all of the stuff of my life, all the past, the guilt, the pain, the heartache, the, you know, the, 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 the bitterness, the hatreds are all gone. They're gone, and I thank God for that. And uh, doing life with God is just incredible. And I just want to finish uh, my last video on a point that has always blown my mind about God, because I'm a father now, so you know I've got a different kind of aspect or, or uh, perspective on life. And I was looking, I was talking to my builder friend again this week, and we've got both got sons who uh, who you know we love uh, intensely but they've both been through real struggles in their lives and um, you know somehow that you know those struggles sometimes when we when we think about them they can cause us to be upset but actually what i loved was sitting talking with my builder this week he was you know when we mentioned our sons we were just so full of pride both of us nearly in tears welling up with the thought of how wonderful and how much we love them and uh, you know no matter the circumstances of their lives we love them and if that's how much we love our kids how much do you think God loves you even more even more God loves us and uh, you know there's a scene in the Bible where Jesus is being crucified and uh, it gets to a point where he's been nailed and he's, he's asked him, God, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. And, you know, he's, he's gone through all of the pain and the suffering and the heartache and the scourging and the beating. And then finally, he says, it is finished. And there's this bit in the Bible, it's amazing, it's not really spoken about much, but it, 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 it talks of how when he said it's finished, there was an earthquake, there was a mighty rushing wind, and it says that the temp in the temple, this earthquake split the temple, and, the, and the, the curtain that separates man from God, from the holiness of God, was ripped in two from top to bottom. And, uh, you know, just in that imagery, I can imagine God who's been waiting for all these thousands of years to be with his beautiful children, the children he created, these incredible kids that he loves but can't be with because of the judgment on sin and because of our determination to do our own thing. And he's standing there. He's over the curtain waiting, waiting for those words of Jesus. It is finished rips open the curtain bursts out of the temple so much so the bible says not only is there an earthquake and a rushing wind that 500 people are, are raised from the dead in that moment it's awesome it's an awesome picture but it just for me shows the pent-up desire that god has for you he loves you he's desperate to get to know you he's desperate to be with us and to be proud of us he, he is so proud of us Do you know what i've done stuff in the garden uh, whilst i've been in lockdown and i've made some benches and i've put some wood around the garden i'm so proud of it and that's just a bit of wood that's uh, you know god created you every single atom of your body he created you he made you something so beautiful and put you together and you know science says that we the science says i am a biomechanical machine now i'm more than that i'm a personality as well if i'm just a biomechanical machine i'm a sausage like you we're just a bunch of sausages well we're more than that we're personalities everyone individual everyone beautiful science is the study of things it doesn't know anything about love it's like a tennis player love means nothing to them uh, you'll get it in the end but you know the, the the thing is that god is love god is the great personality of the universe somebody once said if you can look into the universe and not find god you'll look into the human brain and you'll not find the mind you won't find the personality god is the great personality of the universe and he's desperate to know you and to be with you for all eternity the stars shine over the mountains. The stars shine over the sea. The stars look up to Almighty God. The stars look down on me. 
The stars will live for a million years, for a million years and a day, but God and I will live and love when the stars are passed away. Do you know that's Robert Louis Stevenson's poem just trying to express the beauty of living in love for all eternity with our Father who is in heaven. So why don't you allow that eternity, that personality, that great person that is God, the personality of the universe, the great creator of all things to come to you right now. Why carry on struggling through on your own? Why not get to know him right now? Why don't you say with me, God almighty, God all powerful, my Father, I don't want to waste another moment without knowing you. Thank you for making a way for us to be together through Jesus dying for me. You made a way through his resurrection that I too can have eternal life and live with you for all eternity. I'm sorry I've been ignoring you. I want to know you right now. Please come to me. Live with me. Fill me with eternal life. Be my Lord, my Father, and my greatest friend. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you open your heart right now, God will come and live with you and be with you forever. God bless you, my friend. And if we ever meet, I want to shake your hand. After this lockdown and social distancing, I'll give you a great big squeeze. God bless you. <laughs>